And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, my name is Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a little card game called Splurt. Now, this is a small game from Game Right, which is essentially you have two cards, a category, and something that says it starts with a letter, ends with a letter, has a letter in it, and you need to be the first person to think of uh, a word that meets those two requirements. A lot of games like this out there. This one's a small one. Let's take a look at it. Sport comes with a deck of cards, and you're going to use a chunk of cards. It doesn't matter how much, the bigger the chunk, the longer the game is going to be, and you'll place it here in the middle of the table. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to flip over the top card here, and I need to, everyone needs to shout out a movie title that contains an A, uh, The Avengers. All right, great. So whoever is the person who uh, gets it correct is going to take the card. And then you flip over the next one. A bird that contains a W, Wren. Something found at a beach containing a V. Uh, um, vassals, no, the vassals never go to the beach, so that would be incorrect. And you're going to keep going till the first person to get it pulls it. Now, if multiple people say the answer at the same time, you'll stick it underneath the pile and go to the next one, a celebrity's name containing a Q, something made of metal ending in L, something found on a farm not containing a G, and obviously you want to make sure these are all shuffled the same direction, an item in a suitcase or something expensive beginning with W, something you do every day ending in H, a place beginning with G. And then you just keep going till the deck runs out. Whoever has the most cards is the winner of the game. It's that simple. This is it. Just these very short rules and the deck of cards go into the box. Now the cards could probably be better quality cards considering how much you're going to be going through these cards. Uh, but they do give very good categories and you're going to be flipping these and throwing these around a lot. Oddly enough, they don't say what to do if nobody knows uh, one. Sometimes you'll find one that might start with a letter or end with a letter and you just can't think of the category. We found if nobody could get it after f several seconds, we just stuck that card in the bottom of the deck and kept going. But uh, yeah, it's just a very easily small, portable little game. Now at this point, you can tell if you're going to like the game or not. And I have to say, I enjoy it a lot. For there being a small amount of cards in here, the combinations is humongous, right? There's a, you know, there's a hundred cards in here, so there's not a hundred different types of letters, right? There's, you know, ones that begin with and ones that end with and ones that contain, and I don't know if there is uh, the 78 different combinations or if there's more with certain letters or not, I don't know. But there's enough that that hundred, even if that hundred was only multiplied by letters, 26 letters, that's still 2,600 different possible combinations that will pop up. And it's just a silly, fun way to pass time. This is the kind of game you can pull out a restaurant. Just throw it on the table and everyone has fun. You don't have to just have someone read it out. Everyone shouts out an answer. Give the card to the person who gets it first. You could argue over who gets it first, but then again, the card goes underneath and then you just keep going. So uh, this is one I also really appreciate because my kids really enjoyed this one. And this is one of the few games that when I stuck it on the shelf, they kept going back and back and playing it. In fact, when I'm done reviewing this, it is going home to my house. Very few games go to my house these days and stay there. This one will stay there because I know the kids will pull it off and have a good time playing it without me. Uh, and they, they enjoyed it. It's quick. It's simple. It's portable. It's fun. Nothing more to say. That's Splurt. I guess I should say I don't really like the name. It's a weird name, but who cares? Dice Tower Judgment approved. 